Eddie, how's it going? Good. Yeah. You enjoying your day? So far, so good. Uh huh. <laughs> Sun's yeah. coming out for a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah. So where are we at? What are we doing? King of the Hammers, 23. Yeah. Oh, 24. <laughs> All right, King of the Hammers, 2024. I'm good, thanks. No any coffee? Good. It was really Yeah. And it was really clear when it came back out at me yesterday. It looked good. While I was swearing, trying to get the bolt back in. It comes out fast. What you guys up to? Ah, uh, checking dip fluid. We got a bit of a leak, making sure we don't run out. Mm-hmm. That'd be a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> should be good to go for now. So, great. Fix it this afternoon. Mm -hmm. You guys get the brake stuff figured out in front? Yeah. Yep. We put two new calipers. We blew out the calipers on both the driver's side front and the driver's side rear. So we replaced the calipers, replaced the rotors, had to bleed everything, ran all the fluid out of the car, so had to put the brake fluid in. Sure. She should be good to go. Mm -hmm. so. That's new. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few new dents. <laughs> <laughs> well earned from qualifying from what I saw. That happens when you get on back door with no brakes. Yeah. No, the car breaks for you. Some avant-garde body, body work going on. <laughs> Did y'all figure out the engine mounts? Yeah, we got to weld them back up. We re-welded the cracked weld and then added a gusset plate between the two. You want to show me? Yeah, it's where it's been painted green. Let me, uh... Yeah, please eat bananas. Okay. You can see the... Ah, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Been added. Good. Way to go. And then in the future, we put the plate in the middle at home once the engine's out. We can do a more thorough job. We'll probably box in the top and the bottom with another set of plates. Just sure. Just to make that that much more rigid. That makes sense. So it pretty much just kind of yeah, like... Torques this wheel. So the engine pretty much tried to like butterfly down pretty much. Uh, so if you go look at the skid plate mount, the pinion somehow touched it at some point. Which is the other area that's been painted green, just to see if we touch again. But that this at some point got into there. Ouch! So either the engine, the engine butterfly down on a hard downward hit. Yep. Or the axle came up, gave that a little tap, and pushed the engine towards the passenger side of the car um, to get the tubes back into the where they were. We had to ratchet the engine towards the driver's side, which yeah. I think leads some credence to the theory of that was that actual touch in there. So. Yeah, were were these rubbing no, rub points new? Old, those, those are, are old. Rubbings. Okay. 
That was back when we were still figuring out what limit straps we needed. Our, our current setup doesn't touch. Sure. So it should be good there. Would it be worth like uh, angle grinding this thing to give you more clearance? Probably be something maybe this afternoon. If we have time this afternoon, we'll definitely get to that. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Uh, tell me about qualifying. How'd you like it? Uh, qualifying was a little disappointing. Losing brakes about halfway through kind of slows you down. Um, That's ironic. Yeah, it does. Uh, so we, we, we brakes started not feeling good, so we kind of had to start making little little slower choices, uh, kind of coasting over the tops of hills and not being as aggressive into corners as we would have liked to have been. But coming up the sandy wash to get to the top of resolution, we also or I also decided to shift into four low and miss the shift up coming to a complete stop and some mm. really deep sand had to back up and take another little short run at it which added probably a solid 45 50 a minute to our, our overall run um that and then coming down resolution back door luckily we were in four low so we were able to use a little bit of engine compression to, to slow us down but we kind of just rolled through it at yeah, whatever kinda, speed we were going so kind of like engine braking a little bit um torque converter doesn't lock up till like 3500 so oh, you don't geez. get engine braking until you're going pretty uh pretty fast yeah but got through it kind of babied it through the short course afterwards and then uh we're able to still finish qualifying which is an improvement from last year we'll be 54th off the line this year um starting next to Dwayne Garrickson, who we started next to at the last race we did, which was in Disney, Oklahoma. So there'll be two of us with Bronco skin buggies, uh, both from Jimmy's. So it'll be a fun, fun start. That will be a good start. The uh, went over to the Bronco booth to see if I could use their uh, uh, their bathrooms. They're like, "You driving Ford Bronco?" I was like, "The Bronco 680 over here." They're like, "That doesn't count." I was like, "Oh come on." Gosh. Yeah, this looks great. Yep. And no major body damage from from the uh, qualifying? Uh, not from qualifying. At some point during pre-running, this tire managed to cut touch right here and it's pushed it a little forward. So we've got some body, uh, some panel gaps that aren't the prettiest anymore, but uh, it'll all be fine. Yeah. Now your new winch line? New winch line. Uh, one of my pit crew, Blake, had these in his truck. We were, ours was looking a little raggedy, so we we threw this new soft shackle on. Um, we'll just get this tightened up before the race day. And of course. We should be good to go. Uh, the only time we winched during pre-run was when I was off in the, the side of the trail doing stupid things, trying to turn around or go over to a different line and got bellied out. So I think we should be able to have a, a clean run on race day. Um, we've been through all the rock trails. We've kind of got where we want to what lines we want to do, and just a few backup lines here and there if there's, if there's some traffic on the trails. How are you guys marking them, on the Lowrance or on something else? On the Lowrance. Nice. We're just dropping waypoints with a little description of where to turn right, next to which rocks, etc. So you guys were able to pre-run the whole course then? Yep, we've done uh, every mile of the race course. So. Nice. In this car or another car or both? Uh, all in this car, and then once we finished up that, that pre-run, we went through replaced all of our link bolts and checked all of our shock bolts. We also replaced the front shock bolts just to, to, to get them out to do our repair on their motor mounts. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're prepped for the race as well as we can be. Um, did a fluid change or engine oil change, new power steering fluid onto the, the repairs that we had to make. We had to get some power steering lines out of the way so that all went flush. Also, because of our other issues, all new brake line, all new brake fluid as well. It's all been flushed and bled. So we are, I think, getting real close to being ready. Just a few more little fine touches. We'll be headed off to tech and contingency here around 10 this morning. Is that where you're going to get all the uh, fire suits and helmets rated as well? Yeah, everything, uh, everything safety-wise comes with us there. They'll check our belts are in date. Uh, check our belt mounting points, check all of our fire suits, helmets, neck gear, um, gloves, the fire extinguishers on the car, and just general condition.
transmission in the car there, and then uh, give us our our little pre we've got we've tacked band and we'll be good to go. And that'll be good. So that's it. All right. We're just going to do a little reset of our pit area here, and then make sure the buggy's got everything packed in for race day. We do we do have a light slow a slow leak on the rear. Um, the rear third member that we're going to be we're going to drain that after tech and seal up some threads there and then re refill that so okay a little that bit more work today but it should, should be pretty quick you guys so, gonna jb weld it helic oil it uh we don't want to drop the third member so we're just going to jb weld the threads in okay. and then when i'm back home i'll hopefully get those <laughs> jb welded <laughs> bolts out and then uh joe and, and helic oil and those lower uh, lower bolts that are yeah, it's not worth having metal shavings hanging around inside a diff. Nope. No, no, not at all. But luckily when we were messing with it earlier, all the diff fluid looks really clean. Um, so I think we're good on that front. And we, our rear end takes like seven quarts of fuel, so there's plenty of fluid in there. That takes more than my entire <laughs> truck. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a lot. Alright, I get to tidying up here. We want to be ready to get everything situated for race day, we've got our pit boxes to prep and distribute once all of our pit vehicles. We've got to get our chase stickers on. Yep. We've still got a decent amount of work today, but nothing that's not doable in a reasonable day's work. And then uh, just rest up tonight and be ready for the morning. Looking forward to it. Let's have some fun.